Hello, Falcons. Today we will be exploring the NC Test app. The purpose of today's practice is to give all students practice with the NC Test app to see what it will be like for all of our NCFEs and EOGs this year in all grades for our end of year testing. Teachers, during this exploration, it is important that you play and pause the video as necessary. The video will continue to run for the suggested time frames, and pausing is not necessary unless your students need more time. Students, your job during this is to watch the video and follow the directions. The first 15 minutes of this video, you will not need a Chromebook. Do not open your device until the video tells you. If your device is open at this time, please close it. Welcome to an overview of the NC Test program. Today you will learn how to use NC Test, the program used to give online assessments in North Carolina. You will practice completing sample items in the online assessment tutorial after watching this video. Before you start an assessment, you will begin at a screen that looks like this. You should see your name and the school name at the top of the screen. Now let's take a look at the online tools you can use during the assessment and the type of items you might see when taking an online assessment with NC Test. Items are divided into four parts. The top shows information about you and your assessment. Below your name is the toolbar that has several tools you can use during the assessment. You will see the item in the middle of the screen. Finally, on the bottom are the navigation tools that you use to move from item to item in the assessment. The information bar shows your name, the name of your school, the item number you are currently working on, and the total number of items in that section. Now let's look at the toolbar. Most of the tools may be clicked one time to turn them on and clicked a second time to turn them off. When navigating the NC Test screen, be careful not to click, hover, or if you are using a touch screen device, touch near the edge of the test window. This can result in your test session closing and you will have to be logged into a new session of NC Test. The first tool is the reset button, but you won't be able to click it until you mark an answer choice. You can use this tool to reset the item back to how it was when you first saw it. For example, if you marked an answer, the reset button will remove your answer. When you click the reset button, a caution message will appear on the screen to make sure you really want to reset the item back to how it was when you first saw it. If you want to reset the item, click the reset button. Please note that while the item will be restored, removing any answers, flags, or strike indicators, the reset option will leave any highlight indicators you have created. Next is the flag tool, which allows you to mark any items you might want to return to later. The flag tool places an indicator on your review section to remind you to return to an item. There are two ways to use the flag tool. First, you can click in the square box, or you can click the flag button, which will put a check mark in the square box. You can click the flag button again to remove the check mark and turn off the flag option. For multiple choice items, you will have a tool that looks like a circle with an X over it. This is the strike tool. When you click it, your mouse pointer becomes an X. This tool allows you to put an X on answers you don't think are correct. Click the X to remove it. Please note that even if you strike all answers but one, you must always select your answer choice. When you are finished using the strike tool, click on the strike button again to turn it off. This tool is only available on multiple choice items. Now let's take a look at the three highlighter tools. The first one looks like a small highlighter pen and lets you highlight words and areas on graphs and illustrations. Click the Highlight button. Your mouse pointer changes to an icon that looks like a highlighter. To use it, click and hold the mouse button down while dragging the cursor across the section you wish to highlight, and then release to stop highlighting. When you are finished with the Highlight tool, Click on the Highlight button to turn it off. The second highlighter tool looks like a highlighter pen with a line through it. 
This tool lets you remove some of the highlight. When you click it, your mouse pointer changes to an icon that looks like a highlighter. To use it, click, hold, and drag the mouse pointer over the highlighted text you wish to remove the highlight from and release. When you are finished, click the Unhighlight button to turn it off. The third highlighter tool looks like a highlighter pen with an X. This tool lets you remove or clear all of the highlight at one time. When you click on the Clear Highlight button, any highlight on the item will disappear. The last tool looks like a circle with a question mark and is called the Help tool. If you can't remember how the tools or navigation works, click the Help button. The navigation buttons are below the item. The first button takes you back to the first item in the test, or section for tests with multiple sections. The back button moves the assessment back to the previous item in the test or section for tests with multiple sections. The pause button opens a screen that keeps other students from seeing your assessment during stretch breaks or if you must briefly leave the computer before finishing the assessment. Your test administrator will tell you when to click the pause button. The next button moves the assessment to the next item. The Review button opens a summary page at the end of the assessment or end of the section if the assessment has multiple sections. Now let's look at some different types of items you might see. When you take the actual assessment, you may not see all of the item types that we will review today because each assessment is different. This is an example of a multiple choice item. After you read the item, click the answer you think is correct. You can change your answer by clicking another answer choice. All assessments have multiple choice items. This multiple choice item has a reading selection that must be read before you mark your answer. There is a divider bar in the middle that you can move if you want to adjust the screen. If the selection is too large for the screen, there will be scroll bars you can use. As you read the selection, you may want to use the highlighter tools. After you read the selection, and then the item, click the answer you think is correct. This type of item requires you to type your answer. Read the item, then click in the box, and type your answer in the box. You can only use the characters 0 to 9 and some math symbols. The numbers and math symbols you can use are listed under the box. The screen is divided into three sections for this type of item. The top section has instructions and the item. The middle section has answer choices. When you click an answer choice, it will appear in the bottom section of the screen under the word selected. Some items may have more than one answer. To change your answer, click the answer choice in the middle section again and it will disappear from the bottom of the screen. There are divider bars between each section on the screen. You can move these to change the size of the sections. This is a drag and drop item. Read the instructions at the top of the screen. The answer choices are grouped together in boxes at the bottom of the item. You will move the answer choice boxes to their correct locations. Your selections will replace the empty boxes. To choose an answer, move your mouse pointer over the answer box and click, hold, and drag it into the correct empty box. When you finish dragging it, let go of the mouse button to drop it in the box. If you want to change your answer, you can click, hold, and drag the answer choice box to another empty box. Remember, if you want to start the item over, you can click the reset button to change the item back to how it was when you first saw it. Scroll bars will be available if the item is too large for the screen. For this type of item, you will choose an answer choice to replace a word or phrase in the reading selection. First, read the item. Then read the short reading selection and find the word or phrase that needs to be replaced. The answer choices are below the reading selection. Click one of the answer choices to replace the word or phrase shown in the selection. Once you click an answer choice, it will appear in the selection. 
To change your answer, click a different answer choice. Remember, if you want to start the item over completely, you can always click the Reset button to make the item go back to how it was when you first saw it. Let's look at a short answer item. For this item, the reading selection is separate from the matching item. There are divider bars that you can move if you want to adjust the screen. If the selection is too large for the screen, there will be scroll bars you can use. After you read the selection and the item, click in the text box and use the keyboard to type your short answer. Let's look at another short answer item. This time the reading selection is included with the item. After you read the selection and the item, click in the text box and use the keyboard to type your short answer. The maximum character limit for your response is displayed below the text box. For example, 0 of 900 informs you that you have a 900 character limit for your answer. Your response cannot exceed the character limit. At the end of each test section, for tests with multiple sections, or end of a test, there is a summary review page. There is a summary at the top of the screen that shows you the number of items you completed and the number of items you flagged. There is a review section below the summary. The review section lists each item number in a column. If you answer the item, there will be an asterisk under it. If you flag the item to go back to later, it will have a question mark symbol under it. If you didn't answer every item, or you want to go back and check the items you flagged, you can click the item number and it will take you back to that item. When you are finished checking your answers, click Review to go back to the review screen. If this is a multiple section test and there are sections remaining, you will have two options, Exit or Next. Continue to the next section if instructed by your test administrator. If you are at the end of the test, you will have the options Exit and End Test. The Exit button should only be used by the test administrator. If you have completed the entire assessment, click the End Test button. When you click the End Test button, a caution message asking if you are finished with your assessment will appear on the screen. If you are not finished, click the Cancel button to go back to the assessment. If you are finished, click the End Test button. Be careful. Once you confirm leaving a section or end test, you will not be able to go back to the items. The actual math assessments have two parts. You cannot use a calculator on the first part of the math assessment, but your test administrator will give you a handheld calculator to use during the second part of the assessment. A calculator picture is on the screen during the second part of the assessment to remind you that you can use the handheld calculator to help answer the items. Some students may have an audio player that allows them to listen to the items being read aloud. If you have this option, speaker buttons will be next to the item and the answer choices. What is 50% of 100? There are some items or answer choices that cannot be read to you, such as pictures or graphs. Answer choice not readable. School staff must turn on the audio player option for students before the day of the assessment. If you have any questions about whether or not you will have speaker buttons, talk to your teacher. If you will have this option when you practice using the tutorial, ask your teacher to put a check mark beside Enable Computer Reads Test Aloud, Student Controlled, on the tutorial login page. Some students may need a larger font or a different background color. School staff must approve and set these options for students before the day of the assessment. The online assessment tutorial allows everyone to see how this works before assessment day. If you want to change the font size or theme color when you practice using the tutorial, you can change those options on the tutorial login page. If you have any questions about whether or not you will have a larger font or a different background color, talk to your teacher. Thank you for watching this overview of the NC Test online testing system. Each assessment is a little different. 
Remember, you may not see all of the types of items and features discussed today on your assessment. Now let's practice answering a few sample items. Once you close this video, you should still have the online assessment tutorial on your screen. To begin practicing, choose the assessment you will be taking at the end of the course or the end of the year from the drop-down menu and click the login button. If you have any questions, talk to your teacher. Now it's time for you to explore the released items. You will be instructed to go through all four tests that you will take. Students, at this time, open your Chromebook, open the NC Test app. It's located in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. You must sign out of your Chromebook in order for the apps to appear. Teachers, please make sure that all students are logging in to the NC Test app at this time. Students now click on Released Items in the lower left-hand corner. Do not choose any of the other options. We will begin with the math test. Please make sure that you choose the correct test. Under Test Type, select EOG. Under Test Name, select Math and the correct grade. If you're in 6th grade, you'll choose Math 6, etc. Students, now you will spend eight minutes exploring the math released items. Use the tools, try them out, raise your hand if you need help.
Now we will practice the reading test. Under test type, select EOG. Under test name, select reading and the correct grade. We will spend eight minutes in the reading test. Explore the features available in the reading test. Raise your hand if you need help.
Now we will explore the science test. If you are in eighth grade, you will choose EOG for test type. If you are in sixth or seventh grade, you will choose NCFE for the test type. Then under the test name, click science.
Students, it's now time to explore the social studies released items. Under test type, choose NCFE. Under test name, select social studies and the correct grade. Remember to explore all of the options. This is the last test that we will explore.
Thank you for your attention during this time. Have a great rest of your day.